Hello everyone, today is construction day 107. All right, like I said yesterday, it uh, seems like the days are uh, starting to speed along. Uh, you know, Wilma and I were just talking about uh, how, uh, how busy we've been. Uh, we're doing another update here, intro in our truck. Uh, we've been uh, running around. I mean, this week was Thanksgiving, so, uh, you know, we're running around preparing uh, all the food that we needed, the ingredients for the dishes that we made, and then, uh, you know, the day itself, Thanksgiving, uh, we all met up uh, over at Mark and Jen's house and had a great time. Uh, and then uh, we've been meeting a lot of uh, subscribers, like this morning, uh, we had a, a brunch with uh, Gary and Sharon, uh, one of our viewers, so guys, thank you. Uh, it was really nice uh, to meet you guys. And uh, the, this afternoon we had uh, more friends come up, uh, Amit and Gina, who are actually uh, looking to, to buy property uh, in this area uh, and looking uh, to build their home here soon as well. Uh, and then yesterday you saw in the end of our video, uh, we had uh, Justin and uh, Judea and Alex all pop up for a visit as well. Uh, they're uh, local vloggers. So uh, it just seems like uh, the week speeds by so fast. And then uh, as you guys also know, in the mornings what we've been doing is going out, uh, pricing uh, different appliances and uh, TVs and you know different things that we want inside the house now that things are starting to move along. So it just seems like it's uh, one day after another, we're running around uh, trying to get everything done and then we're trying to spend enough time up here as well. And then of course, uh, put together some videos and all the editing and you know everything that goes into it. So uh, now it's all good, it's keeping us busy, keeping us young, uh, but nonetheless, uh, we've been running around quite a bit. And you can see that uh, we've been using the truck a lot more than the scooter, uh, just because lately, uh, I think the rainy season is officially over. Um, you know, you ask five people, you get five different answers of when the true rainy season is. Uh, but what Google's telling me is around December 1st in this area, the rainy season is over. So we're very close to December 1st. Um, so uh, it just seems like the last, I'm going to say week to week and a half, um, you guys know from the past videos that it very rarely rains here during the day. It usually rains at night. You guys know that. Um, but uh, the clouds are in and out during the day. But the last, I say week, maybe up to 10 days, it's been very sunny. And uh, that takes a toll on you as well because when you're out and about uh, walking around, you know, for several hours with the sun beating on you, that's much different here than if it's cloudy. Uh, so I think I've said in many videos, uh, kind of like the cloudy days. Uh, we still have the nice breeze, beautiful breeze here today. But just for example, it's been blue skies here uh, all day long and it just, just wears you out. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we've ducked the rainy season. We'll cross our fingers. Hopefully I didn't uh, just jinx it by mentioning it. Uh, you guys know that we had uh, lots of luck uh, with very little rain, very little delays uh, when it comes to weather. So we're, we're very, very happy about that. But we are day 107 and uh, the, you know the build goal is 180. Uh, so the, the pressure is starting to mount a little bit, uh, but we'll see how all that comes together if uh, we make that uh, uh, date or not. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get up to the work site, see what's going on up there, and get you guys an update. See you in a little bit. All right, so it's uh, late afternoon, and the guys are uh, starting to wind down and uh, take off for the uh, week. So it's officially the end of another work week. And the uh, roof update, like I mentioned yesterday, is uh, the roof panels are all on. Uh, so they're working the flashing. So today they got the master side completed. So all the flashing uh, is all buttoned up in the master side. Uh, the middle was done earlier in the week. And then they got about 50% of the spare side. So the two spare bedrooms and the uh, spare bathroom. Uh, about 50% and they said they'll have that done on Monday. Uh, so then the main house itself uh, will be completed with flashing. So then they just have to do a little flashing for the pergola and then flashing here uh, in the uh, carport and then uh, the dirty kitchen and they'll be complete. So talking to Felix just before he left today, he left a few minutes ago, uh, he said maybe three or four more days 
uh, and uh, he'll have the uh, roof all uh, all complete. So then we can start focusing on that uh, back concrete drainage uh, behind the wall. Um, that's going to be uh, next up. Uh, they made some uh, good progress today on the uh, furring strips for the ceiling, so I'll go over that with you guys. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, dirty kitchen plan uh, for, uh, for next week. All right, so a little bit tight quarters here with all the uh, scaffolding that they needed to put here in the uh, master bedroom. But they did complete all the furring for the uh, ceiling in the master. So you guys know the two spares and the uh, spare bathroom is complete. And now they got the master bedroom complete. Wilm is a uh, walk-in closet is complete as well as the uh, nine foot ceilings here in the master bathroom. So it looks like all completed. So they're making uh, very quick work of getting this uh, drop ceiling in. So uh, what's left is the main room and they were just starting to work on the scaffolding here late this afternoon. But one thing that I wanted to show you is they're going to put the exact same roof or ceiling um, here in the overhang. So see how the angle iron goes right out and extends. So they're starting to work this two meter overhang. So the same uh, principle of the uh, furring strips uh, will repeat with the two meter overhang and there will be a ceiling exactly like inside the home on uh, this entire two meters to include the two meter overhang of the carport which is right over there with the uh, black steel. So uh, we'll be putting that cement board all the way across the front of the house and then we will also run conduit with electrical wires and we'll have uh, LED lights uh, on switches. I think it'll be three different switches uh, for the different various LEDs that'll go across this two meter overhang. So we'll be able to turn on the lights at night uh, and have lights uh, coming down uh, on the uh, two meter porch. So I wanted to, to cover that with you guys as well. All right, so if you guys remember yesterday, Robert was working uh, that beam right there, cleaning it up. And uh, he had this all roughed in, this column. So he completed that today. And then he did come across uh, and did the fine work for this beam that goes from the outside of the uh, carport and here attaches to uh, the main column here of the uh, master uh, bedroom. So again, too, same thing will happen where we'll have the angle iron going around and they will put the uh, drop ceiling in here as well. And we'll have a couple lights, LED lights in this area uh, to light up the uh, carport. So when I drive up at night, uh, there'll uh, be lights pointing uh, right down here on the uh, concrete floor as I uh, enter the actual carport itself. So uh, they worked on uh, that today. Look how good that looks. Very, uh, very smooth. So uh, a quick electrical update. You can see this is gonna be the primary uh, panel where the main line comes in. So you can see the uh, PVC here and then the six gauge wire that has been now run to this panel, uh, which will electrify from the pole. So this runs up this uh, up inside the wall, and then I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, PVC is uh, right there, and then it runs through the ceiling, uh, down the outside wall of the pergola, and then it, go, it runs all the way down the fence line uh, to the uh, end of the property, and then we will dig a trench eventually uh, and bury uh, that uh, six type wire all the way to the pole. So our actual meter will be on that pole, but the wire will go underneath the uh, 
driveway and then come up the fence line all underground until it gets to the pergola. And then that's when it runs up the wall and, uh, and comes across. So one of the things that we saw or uh, what we were told regarding the uh, site survey for the ACs, they have this prepped with four 30 amp. Uh, but what we learned was two of the uh, air cons, the two one horsepower that'll be in the two spare bedrooms, they're 20 amp. Uh, so we're gonna have to switch these out uh, and have two 20 amp. And then the two 30 amp uh, will electrify the 2.5 horsepower. So just a little minor change there. So you can see they're starting to run the wires, uh, getting it all in place. Uh, so this panel will be the uh, four air cons and then this panel will be the rest of the house. Um, and then again, we did that uh, for the viewers that's been around a while. Uh, because if we go solar, what I'm thinking is we'll just electrify this panel uh, for solar and then have the four air cons uh, hooked up uh, to, the, uh, to the grid. So that's the thought process there. But uh, just a quick uh, update for you guys uh, for the electrical. All right, so next week uh, on Monday, uh, you know Felix is going to be working on uh, getting the uh, flashing done for the uh, roof. But the rest of the team now, that uh, the master side as well as the spare side, all the uh, furring strips are in for the drop ceiling. They're going to concentrate a few guys on working this main area. Now, it's a little more difficult uh, because it's 12-foot uh, ceilings, so they got to build uh, the scaffolding a little higher. And obviously, it's a larger room, so it's, it's probably going to take a few days. But they're going to concentrate on getting that done. Uh, and then at the same time, the foreman will be working on all the electrical uh, that's going to go up above uh, those furring strips uh, for all the LED lights that will be in the uh, ceiling. So he's going to be working on that next week. And then what Jerry said, uh, the next step is uh, doing the skim coat. So they're going to start on inside of the house, and they're going to skim coat the entire house. Now, I've seen it uh, on YouTube videos, but I've never seen it live, so I'm very curious how this works. Uh, but you can see uh, with the rendering, it, it's smooth. It, it looks good. Uh, but when you get real close, you can see there's quite a few uh, swirl marks uh, in the uh, concrete. So what the skim coat does is it actually fills all these little voids and swirls. Uh, it makes it uh, much uh, smoother. And then they'll go ahead and uh, sand that, and then that'll be the surface that they'll prime and paint. So it looks like uh, they'll be uh, working on the uh, skim coat uh, next week. So one of the things that uh, I want to start next week is for the plumbing rough-in, uh, here's all the lines going uh, to the corner of the house. I asked the uh, foreman if he could get this completed to run uh, to the uh, septic. And uh, look at all the uh, trash here. we got to work on that. Um, but you want to get that buttoned up uh, next week early. So I asked for that to be done. Uh, and the reason for that is um, I want to get going on this uh, dirty kitchen. So uh, I want to get the uh, it's all smoothed out and the concrete poured. So what I'm going to do uh, next week, and I told Jerry I'll uh, assess, and I'll probably grab uh, Jernel, and uh, we're going to have to measure, I think we measure down, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, six inches uh, below this floor, this concrete floor here, six inches below. And then uh, we will build up a couple inches of gravel and then four inches of cement. And then the finished floor here will be two inches lower than this floor, this concrete floor. So you can see there's a lot of extra dirt here. But it just, I just, I'm be honest with you, I'm tired of looking at it. So I want to get started. So we're going to start in that very corner now that this wall is here. So I would, I've been waiting for this wall to get installed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start here and get all these uh, pipes buried and start coming across, getting it all prepped at the right level to uh, accept uh, you know, all the prep work for the uh, concrete and come all the way across. And it looks like we're gonna have a lot of extra dirt in this area, which is good because we're gonna pull it this way. So I'm glad there's extra dirt. There's a lot of extra dirt right here. I mean, that's probably gonna come down 
a good two foot right there as compared to uh, where the finished floor will be. Um, and then I believe the carport will be two inches lower than the dirty kitchen. Uh, so there's a lot of extra dirt there. And again, look at all that trash. We got to get this cleaned up. We're going to do all this next week. Uh, but a lot of the dirt will be backfilling uh, these metal columns. So there's quite a bit of dirt needs to go there. We need to bring dirt uh, this way. The septic is there. Obviously, we want to bury that septic. So that looks like it's got to come up about 18 inches. Uh, so we're going to start on that far side and start coming all the way across. Get this all cleaned up. Hopefully next week, see how far we get. And get this all at the right elevation. Uh, so we'll be ready for uh, eventual uh, concrete.